What's up, guys? It's your buddy Jit, and uh, I think I'm gonna start posting some Borderlands videos for those who uh, still play Borderlands. I know there's people out there who still play this game, and they like it a lot. <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna be uh, telling you guys some tips and showing you how to beat some bosses that uh, I've used the method to beat them. Um, so on this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to kill Pyro P the uh the boss version of him when he's the raid boss when he's like even more stronger than when you do the mission where you have to save moxie there he's weak as hell and you could kill him easily but the raid boss version of him is really strong and i'm pretty sure some people struggle to kill him and i'm gonna show you how to cheese him um i was playing yesterday and i was streaming um and i wanted to f try and find the cheese spot for him um, because he is really hard solo, especially solo, and I'm pretty sure people out there who still play this game, they play solo, and they're probably struggling to kill this dude. So, I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna show you guys how to cheat him. Well, you see, I've already brought his, uh, his armor down halfway, and, uh, I'm over here in this little spot. So, to get here, you have to, when you jump down from that area, you run over here to this little spot. And you have to rocket jump up here. So if you have the sham and you have the kata boom or the bada boom, my bad. Uh, you rocket jump up here and you sit in this corner here. Now you have to be careful because when he does his little corrosive damage thing, you have to make sure you sit all the way in the corner. Now you have to sit right here when he does the flame thing or the corrosive uh, thing. Because if not, he's gonna hit you with it and you're gonna be taking damage the whole time unless you go down and you pour water on yourself um this method does take long to kill them maybe if uh, you have a sh like really strong guns like me what i like to use to kill them is the unkempt herald um i still need a better one um but that's a good gun to kill them i have the grog nozzle so i can uh slag them to get that extra damage and i have the sandhawk now you could probably um, get a higher level Sandhawk. As you see, mine is a level 52, so it's pretty weak. But uh, for me, it's still pretty good. It still does really good damage, and I could still kill him with it. Uh, if you have a higher uh, level version of the Sandhawk, uh, you would probably do be doing a lot more damage than me. Um, I'm doing decent damage to him. Um, make sure you have a whole bunch of ammo as well, because you're going to be here for quite a while. Uh, depending how like weak your guns are and stuff um, I'll probably keep recording until I drop his armor down so you guys see like um, that this does work and like so you guys can uh, learn and know what you're doing because if you fuck up you're gonna get hit by his little flame shit and that can actually uh, fuck you up and you're gonna have to go down and you don't wanna go down where he is so you just do the same thing I'm doing. You pull out your grog knob if you have one. You shoot him once to slag him. Pull out the sandhawk and you fuck him up. You see his arm is just going down like crazy. Uh, I have the electric version of it. I'm pretty sure that's why um, it's doing that much damage to his armor. But I'm pretty sure um, a fire one will probably be good. I'm not really sure. It'll probably be a uh, resist to the armor. Um, maybe a... Uh, a corrosive one will probably be good or a normal one so you just do the same thing like i'm doing you just slag them once you slag them try and uh, find where you could shoot them but once you hear that he's gonna uh, start shooting his little um corrosive and the flame turret shit just hide in that corner so you don't get hit by it sometimes it's gonna be kind of hard for you to uh, find the spot to hit him but I'm pretty sure you guys would rather do this um, than actually be down there fighting them because it's a pain in the ass. Especially for me since I'm not that much of a pro. Like I'm pretty good at the game but I'm not that good. And sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. So you see as he does that, make sure you're sitting in the corner right here. And as long as you sit in the corner, it's not going to affect you and it's not going to mark you. Uh, 
I don't know. Like, I tried beating them the original way by, like, fighting them. But that corrosive thing where he marks you and you're just marked forever. Well, that can do a lot more damage to have a mark as well. Oh, get back to the corner. So yeah, um, I don't wanna. You see, now I got hit by it. He got too close. So if you're an assassin, you could just use your um your thing, um, cleanse yourself. But now I'm gonna have to switch gear because he uh he marked me. So I'm gonna just run all the way to the back because. He had this corrosive shit out and the flame one. If you get hit by it, it doesn't matter. You have the sham, um these little rats really won't do shit to you because the sham it absorbs the damage from them. So you just rocket jump back up here and you're good. Just make sure you're standing all the way in the corner. He usually doesn't hit you when you're up here, but I guess he decided to uh get closer and you actually hit me. Um, now you just want to play out the rat. Hopefully I don't wait for you. Just kind of play around. Health wise you don't really have to worry about your health if you have Grog Nozzle because Grog Nozzle it uh, regenerates your health, your health as well. So, uh, Kill the rat. Okay, I think I did time. And then once you're done and you're back up here again, uh, you just switch back to your stuff. And yeah, that's basically it for the cheese. Um, it's probably better than going down there and actually fighting them, in my opinion. Um, I prefer doing this and not actually have to face them down there. Um, he is really freaking strong. I thought it was gonna be easy because my stats are high. But uh, it's not easy. If you guys want to know how my uh, stats are high, uh, you probably already know about the glitch. But if uh, you want to know um, how to do it, I'll teach you guys how to do the, the glitch where you can increase your stats like crazy. But that's it for the video. I've been talking a lot. And I'm pretty sure you guys still just want to hear me talk. Um, so yeah, if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.